November 26th, the day that Ugandans will never forget. Because China, which they owed money, came to collect. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Which We Nigeria. And I'm your host, Eternity Baba. Yes, the topic for today is China and I. I, as a citizen of my country, Nigeria, I am proud to say that I owe no country. Why? Because if my leaders go about borrowing and not using the money for what it is meant to be used for, then they are to pay what they have used, what they went to borrow. There are list of African countries that borrowed from China and feel that China will be so merciful with them and will not come to collect. Uganda never knew that China would come this way to collect because when they were signing the agreement 2015 that the loan should go for a period of 20 years with seven year grace, they never thought it would come this early. They never knew this will happen to them. This is a lesson for all of us that our countries are borrowed from China. We need to hold our leaders accountable for them to be able to pay up so that we will not be in the same situation. Can you imagine the only airport in a country seized up? Nobody can leave, nobody can enter. And all that government are uh, lucrative parasitals. That was what they used to, 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 as collateral to collect the loan. We have countries like Angola owing, uh, borrowing 43 billion from China, Ethiopia 13 billion from China, Zambia 9 billion from China, Kenya 9 billion from China, Sudan 6 billion from China, and my blessed country Nigeria. Yes, Nigeria is blessed. We just have leaders that cannot think out of a box to create and recreate funds to use to manage the country. Nigeria 6.2 billion. Cameroon, 5 billion. Republic of Congo, 5.1 billion. Egypt, 4.2 billion. Ghana, 3.7 billion. How much did Uganda borrow? 207 million dollars. It's not up to billion. And China has come to collect, treated them like this. Even when they sent delegates to Beijing for an extension. We should learn from the things happening around us. Nigeria, Nigerians, wake up. It's high time we hold our leaders accountable. As for me, I am not owing any country. You cannot say because I am a citizen of Nigeria, you use what is meant for my own enjoyment, for my own utility to go and stand as collateral without consulting me. And when you get the funds, you use it lavishly. You do not use it for the citizens. You will pay for it yourself. Nigerians, we are no fools. So it's high time we wake up. We emancipate ourselves from mental slavery. It's high time we understand that our leaders only think of themselves. They don't have you at heart. Your own dream, your own aspiration, they don't care about it. It's high time we understand that Borrowing here, there, there, there to fund our country, a country blessed with over 20 mineral resources. We still want to fund it. It is just a cover up, a charade, like they call it, to, to make themselves rich. What did they use this for in $2 billion for? We don't know. Presently, our, our government is saying they are going to give each citizen 5,000 naira because they want to pull out or because of subsidy. Let me put it that way. 5,000 naira. If you calculate the amount, if you sum up the total 5,000 naira you want to, the amount of total 5,000 naira you want to give each citizen with the amount that is needed to use for subsidy, you see the 5,000 is higher. You are not being logical at all. I don't know how they think. And how many people will get that 5,000 naira in Nigeria? Because we still have people that are underbanked. We still have people that have not done their NIA, National Education uh, number. They've not gotten it. 
How will they get 5,000 naira? Because records does not fail. Records reminds me that during the COVID-19, we were meant to get palliative, but some group of greedy politicians put it together and wanted to use it as souvenir for their upcoming parties. That is the height of wickedness. That is to show you, to have a, a peak preview of the insight of the insight of our government. Which way, Nigerians? For how long will we sit down and be shouting, Habak, Father, it's high time we rise up, not with violence, but let us make them to understand that we know their gimmicks. Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. I'm not saying go violent, no. Go peaceful. Speak out. Let them know we understand the truth. China and I, as long as I am concerned, I am not owing China any dime. But if you feel you are, you are, you, you are, you, you, it's none of your business because you are, in, you are not in the country, you are in diaspora, rethink. You have families here that will disturb you for money when China can, comes calling that they need this loan to be repaid. You have families here that are living in poverty and it will increase. God forbid, there is no cause if we do not speak out, if we do not stop them from this, their constant method of borrowing. It is a form of modern day slavery because when they come to collect, you are enslaved to them. Use Uganda as a case study presently. Let us think. Let us have a rethink. Let us hold our politicians, our government accountable for their deeds. They have gone to borrow. We can't be see visibly what they use the money for. They'll come up with one gimmick or the other, forgetting that the records are there. We are no more in 1937. We are no more in 1970. This is the 20th century. Everybody is wise. Everybody is sharp. Everybody can think. Enough is enough. China and I have no issue. Uh, who I have issue with is my government. I hate, I hate it when people say, China shouldn't do this, China shouldn't do that. Blame your government that have gone to take funds and do not know how to refund. Blame them. Because they didn't use the money for what is meant to be used for. Instead, they used the party. Make themselves wealthy. And forget about the masses. It is high time we hold them responsible. Ladies and gentlemen, I want your comment on this. China and I. If you, are, if you think what our government is doing, comment is good. Comment. But know that we are all owing China according to the records. But you and I know the truth. That we are not owing China and we shall never be slave to another country because we are an independent nation. If you don't want to be slave, speak out. Like and share which way in Nigeria. Till I come your way next week, don't forget it is you and your government. It is you versus your government before your government turns you to sleep of another country. Stay blessed. Bye.